I'm Pierce Alexander Lilholt and I'm in Floaty Boat's cabin right now and I'm about to head out on deck and install one of these ram mount phone mounts onto the bow of the boat. So I, if you've seen the video before, I put a bow sprit that's made out of 2x4s out there so I have no problem drilling some extra holes in that. So this is what a ram mount looks like. It's got a ball swivel here so I can adjust it any way I want and then tighten it up here. Now what's great about that is I could switch this out. Right now actually my phone is in a cup holder ram mount which they're my favorite cup holders because they kind of balance when when it's rocking around like that. Um, and I'll put a link in the description to the cup holder one but I'll put a link in the description to the X mount I actually don't prefer this mount. There's one that's by tack form that's way better, I think, in terms of, like, this sometimes pushes the the buttons on the outside of the phone. So I think it's a little bit, I mean, it holds it well. It comes with these little rubber things to really hold it on there. Um, I think that's pretty good. Essentially, I'm gonna mount this ball bracket up there. I do, I do favor these little diamond mounts i think those with only two screws are really the way to go for most mounts i mean you don't need two screws even two to hold a cell phone or a cup this it's going to be on the bow and i happen to have this i found this in the house and it had just about everything i needed to have an extra phone mount up there and then i feel like it'll have a cool camera angle so it'll see right off the front of the boat where we're going and as much as I don't want my phone to fall in the water, I think that this uh, this mount's pretty good for that. So I will put a link in the description to the Ram mount, X mount, this thing. And, you know, I think they had two different ones. I think they had one that had this base, which may have been like a buck more, and then one that had the diamond base. I'll see if I can find both, put the description for both in. So we're going to go up on deck and I'll show you how I'm going to mount this. I'm actually going to use some stainless steel hardware, which I happen to have in the boat here. So I've got some, some Phillips heads and hopefully I don't drop these off the edge. I've got my power drill out there already, which is a little Dewalt, but I typically use Porter cable. I'll put a link in the description to the tool pack that I like. It has, if I was just getting into boating, I would absolutely get that tool pack so I had just about every tool in the boat. I have a lot of hand tools out here. I find that there's something about not being in a rush when I'm out here. I don't need a power tool. I do, however, need it for drilling holes because I'm in a little bit of a rush. I'm at least in hole drilling. If you've ever drilled a hole by hand, it is it takes a minute. Um, and it's not as good. It's just, it's harder, especially when you're rocking around. You'll notice there's a bunch of, uh, tree branches out there when we get out there that are, uh, from yesterday's hurricane and I'll try to show you those. I don't know if you can see all those tree branches floating down the river, but they are there. So now that's in an X mount right there. I'm going to the bow.
coming over. <laughs> it's brat time.